Hi, my name is Sameer. I'm the founder and CEO of a company called R2. Uh, we're trying to design technology for bottom of the pyramid organizations and we're working on really cool cutting edge technology like Android and Cloud and the whole works. Now, we're a fairly young company. We're about two years old and we're just four employees. Right? So it's very hard to sort of follow processes in such an environment, right? Everyone wants to outdo the other, someone writes code, someone breaks something else. And there's a lot of sort of ad hoc development and there's also a lot of blaming and things go on, right? And so over time you realize, okay, there's this whole build process, you know, you can use continuous integration and you can set up a process where your code goes through a build server and then gets deployed onto the, uh, you know, your production environment, right? And then the next set of things happen that who's going to be in charge of the build process? Who is going to you know, follow all those steps for half an hour or whatever, 45 minutes and ensure everything goes up perfectly? Right? Now, we actually used to have, we used to face these problems in very big ways, right? Because most of the times you're not making massive changes, you're making very little tweaks that you're putting out into the production, right? Sometimes it's as simple as a wrong spelling or a a broken image link and stuff like that, right? So nobody wants to really follow and waste 30 minutes or 45 minutes following steps and ensuring that happens, right? So then we realized that we, we tried to look around and see what others were doing. And we realized GitHub had launched this project called Janky, right? And they had designed it would it would work on Heroku and um, you know, it was written in Ruby and it would sit on Jenkins, this continuous integration server. But our environment is slightly different. We use sort of AWS and you know, we are more Java guys than Ruby guys, right? So we realized that, okay, let us set up a process, you know. So we found this bot called Hubot and we made it sit on, to, you know, connect to our GTOP because we use Google Apps for all our work. So through my GTOP window, I can actually start processes, build processes, and I can see what the results are. Right? And I can further extend it to simply write commands and it will actually push my code onto the production environment. So that became really, really fun and it's got some other fun scripts also. So you can you know, put mustaches on people's face and you can basically waste time as well. Right? So, yeah, so, so my talk is going to talk about sort of how we've implemented this process at R2, how you could do it for your company and your organization. We'd sort of go through step by step in terms of what are the basic installation processes. Um, and then I'll even cover how do we write, you know, simple scripts for Hubot, right? So how can he understand your commands? How can he do your bidding? And how can you tweak, you know, stuff to make it work for you, right? So yeah, look forward to the talk, look forward to meeting you and thank you.